welcomed its newest aircraft carrier to the fleet. It christened the future USS John F. Kennedy today. It's the second aircraft carrier of the Gerald R. Ford class and is slated to replace the USS Nimitz when that ship is decommissioned. New tonight, 10 on your side's Deanna Benton as she shows us more from the ceremony. Chairs were filled with people admiring the future aircraft carrier, USS John F. Kennedy. This is the second aircraft carrier to honor President Kennedy. The ship, built by Huntington Ingalls Industries Newport News Shipbuilding Division, incorporates advanced technology such as a new propulsion system, machinery control, radars, and integrated warfare system. Newport News Shipbuilding President Jennifer Boykin talked about the amount of work put into the ship. Since the first cut of steel nine years ago, thousands of shipbuilders have brought incredible integrity, skill, and innovation to bear, working around the clock. And also honored those who were part of building her. Admiral Frank Caldwell, director of the Navy Nuclear Propulsion Program, spoke about the future of the ship. Kennedy will be the envy of every other Navy in the world, with the most capable design, built by the very best, Operated by the finest sailors in our Navy. Former NASA Administrator Major General Charles F. Bolden Jr. delivered the ceremony's keynote address. President Kennedy faced a daunting geopolitical situation when he entered the White House, but he left us an energized space program and also formed the Peace Corps and worked to limit nuclear testing, among many other accomplishments. All of these things contribute today to the relative peace that service members preserve, protect, and strengthen. Caroline Kennedy, President Kennedy's daughter and sponsor of the ship, also gave a speech about what today would have meant to her father. This ship will represent the ideals he lived by, courage, sacrifice, belief in freedom, and it will help make real his vision of a more just America in a more peaceful world. To wrap up the ceremony, Caroline Kennedy smashed a bottle of sparkling wine across the ship's hull. I christen the United States ship John F. Kennedy. May God bless the ship and all who sail in her. She was then given the bottle as a keepsake. Deanna Beteneshi, 10 on your side.